the components of a vector in the xy plane. You are given vectors a 5i hat minus 6.5j hat and vector b 3.5i hat minus 7j hat. A third vector c lies in the xy plane. Vector c is perpendicular to a vector a and the scalar product of vector c with vector b is 15. From this information, find the components of vector c. Okay, so uh, the first information I want to utilize is the fact that this third vector c is in the xy plane. So if a vector c lies in the xy plane, It can be decomposed into its components, so it can be written as vector c equals c sub x, x component, i hat plus c sub y, j hat. Now, I also know that this vector c is perpendicular to vector a. So vector c perpendicular to vector a implies that if I take the scalar product between vector c and vector a, that will be magnitude of c multiplied with magnitude of a cosine of the angle between them, which is cosine 90, that would be 0. <coughs> so if I write this dot product c dot a, in terms of it, their components, then I would have c sub x i hat plus c sub y j hat dot product with vector a, which is 5.0 i hat minus 6.5 j hat. So this will give me a, a c x a x, which is 5 cx and cyay which is minus 6.5 cy this must be equal to 0. On the other hand I know that the scalar product of vector c with vector b is 15. So the scalar product c dot b is c sub x i hat plus c sub y j hat dot product with vector c vector b which is 3.5 i hat minus 7.0 j hat c x b x that will give me 3.5 c x c y b y that will give me minus 7 c y this must be equal to 15.0 Okay, so I have two equations that have cx and cy in them, two unknowns and two equations, so we can uh, solve these simultaneously. So two equations, two unknowns. So the first equation was 5cx minus 6.5cy, which is what we obtained from that product of c with a, that must be equal to 0. And then second equation, 3.5cx minus 7.0cy must be equal to 15.0. That is the that product between c and b. So from the first equation, I can write 5cx equals 6.5cy, or I can say that cx is 1.3cy. If I substitute this in the second equation, 
cx becomes 3.5 times 1.3 cy minus 7 cy equals 15. So 3.5 times 1.3 gives me 4.55 cy minus 7 cy equals 4.55 minus 7 is minus 2.45 cy equals 15 therefore c sub y is minus 15 divided by 2.45 and that gives us the answer C sub y must be equal to minus 6.1. Okay, now C sub x is easy because we have a relationship between y and x. C sub x is just 1.3 times C sub y. So that gives us C sub x equals minus 8.0. So 6.1 minus 6.1 times 1.3 gives us minus 8.0. Uh, zero. So this is 1.3 times minus 6.1. Okay, so uh, then vector C can be written as minus 8.0 i hat minus 6.1 j hat. That is our conclusion. So to summarize, we have two vectors A and B. A third vector C lies in the xy plane. It has a relationship with respect to vector A and B. Dot product with A is 0 because it's perpendicular to A. Dot product with B is 15. From this information, we were asked to find the components of vector C. So first, I realized that vector C can be decomposed into its components C sub x i hat plus C sub y j hat. And Writing this dot product c dot a equals zero in terms of components c sub x a sub x c sub y a sub y equals zero and dot product between c and b in terms of their components c sub x b sub x c sub y b sub y equals 15. We obtain two equations two unknowns. We solve for uh, cx and cy from first equation we can write c sub x in terms of c sub y which is substituted into the second equation for c sub x we use 1.3 c sub y which allows us to solve for c sub y and c sub x is obtained by 1.3 times c sub y